Okay, since quite a lot of students actually asked me about uh, how to solve this kind of simultaneous equation uh, questions, so I decided to make a short video to, uh, to discuss about it. Basically, it's quite, uh, quite easy. So what you need to understand is basically you need to form two equations in order to solve it. Because this one is simultaneous equation topics. That means you will you will always in the question here you always see the x and y over here. So that means you have two unknown. So you must have the idea whenever you have two unknown, you will need to form two equations and then you will actually substitute into each other or you can use the elimination method to actually solve it. So yeah, actually the question will, will give you quite a lot of information. Uh, so I so this one I just simplified. So 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 assume the question actually give you a, uh, give you the parameter is fifty centimeter, and then the area is ninety centimeter square. So what I will do is, of course, you understand about parameter means the means the parameter length means you have to sum up all the lengths at the side here. So what I will do is I will just plus them together. So I will say I will say something like, okay, three y over two plus the x plus 2 and then I of course I have a plus 21 and then I have a plus the 2, 2y plus 3 will equal to 50 so this is basically the meaning of parameter means all the side you join together alright and then I will try to solve this one as fast as possible but I see the over 2 here so normally what I will use to do is whenever I see the fraction I will just multiply the, uh, the denominator mean I see over 2 I multiply the whole equation by 2 so I will actually get 3y okay because you just imagine 2 and 2 I can simplify then I will actually get 3y then 2 I will multiply this thing so I plus 2x plus 4 and 2 I will multiply uh, the 21 I will get 42 and then 2 I will multiply 2y I will get 4y and 2 I will multiply 3 I will get plus 6 equals to 100 alright then of obviously y and y I will join together and give me the 7y and the number I will join together of course this is 10 52 so uh, it will be 100 minus 52 and then we are we left a plus 2x here alright so you can make x as a subject or y as a subject it doesn't matter okay so yeah maybe I make x is a subject seems easier so this one you will give you a 48 minus 7y so basically x equals to 48 minus 7y over 2 so I call this one first equation all right so you, you you can realize that actually I use the parameter to solve the parameter to form one equation and then we we'll solve it simplify until uh, you make x or y as a subject okay which one come first it doesn't matter all right then I will do the same thing for area so for area so obviously you need to understand about you have to understand about the area of trapezium so it's half a plus b multiply height so just in case you you have no idea what is the meaning of it so basically if you have a trapezium like this a and b is two parallel line and then h is the 90 degree height so so if you understand this so i will basically um so do it here so half and then a plus b that's mean x plus 2 and then plus the 2y plus 3 and then multiply the height height basically is 3y over 2 and then equals to 90. all right so then obviously i will solve uh, the things here Okay, so first thing is I move the half to the other side. I will get 180. We multiply 2. And then and then you can realize here I have an over 2. So if I move the over 2 to the other side, just now this one becomes 180 because of the half here. So you multiply 2 again. Okay, so here we left a 3y only. I hope you can see that. Alright, so this is x. And then I will do the plus 2y first and then 2 plus 3 is basically is 5 and the whole thing will multiply 3y alright then we just simplify one more time so yep so over here this one is quite 
complicated so it's 3xy plus 6y square plus the 15y alright so since we make the x as a subject so I'm going to substitute it into here that's mean I will substitute this one into here okay so I will say sub 1 into 2 that's mean in the whole equation here whatever you see the x here I will sub into this one so it's basically it's 3 x my x is 48 minus 7 y over 2 and then you have a y here plus 6 y square plus 15 y might equals to 360 All right so yeah whenever I see over 2 I say I used to actually like make the whole equation multiply by 2 so yeah you just imagine the 2 and 2 I simplify so I just multiply the 3 into it so 3 multiply 48 you will get uh, 144 all right 3 multiplies negative 7 is negative 21 y all right and then you have a y here uh, leave outside first it doesn't matter okay so this one I multiply 2 also so I get 12 y square and this one I multiply 2 also to 30 y and this one I multiply 2 also equals to 720 okay we need some more space on it so basically I will scroll and start from here alright then I just simplify one more time I multiply the y into it so it's 144y minus 21y square plus 12y square plus 30y equals to 720 and then y square and y square I will solve first so this one is negative 9y square and y and y I will join together plus 174y equals to 720 I always want to uh, make my y square positive so I will make I move everything to the, the other side of equation so I'm here I leave 0 9y square minus 174y uh, plus sorry this one will be plus 720 okay I hope all the number can divide it by 5 and uh, I mean can divide it by 9 so let's try okay we have some trouble here because it couldn't divide the 174 y couldn't divide by anything okay I hope I didn't make any carrot mistake here so if like that let's me use the calculator to double check the thing if 9 negative 174 and 720 yep we can still simplify it okay I guess okay 174 divided by 3 I mean 740 sorry divided by 3 we can't divide by 3 and we can't divide by 9 so I guess then just factorize it and try yeah the number actually go a bit too big yeah so basically I will use the calculator to solve this thing so yeah I will do the EQN thing if you have the calculator you should know what I'm talking about okay so we have two different answers so I guess this one I will use a 6 um, minus 6 and then this one I will actually use let me see 720 divided by 6 so I will use minus 120 okay so here actually is negative 120y and this one is negative uh, 54y so plus to plus together you actually get negative 174y so I guess this is correct so okay then I will just erase this one since it's correct already then we will continue so therefore 9y minus 120 equals to 0 or y minus 6 equals to 0 so y equals to 6 or y basically equals to uh, 120 divided by 9 40 over 3 all right then I will find the x by just substitute uh, the value back into the first equation here I hope you actually see the first equation here so my x is basically equals to 48 minus 7 
40 over 3 and then divided by 2 alright then this one will do the same thing um, 48 minus 7 6 over 2 this one is 48 minus 42 so you get 6 6 divided by 2 you get 3 and for this thing yeah it's 48 minus uh, 7 multiply 40 over 3 and then you will get negative and divide by 2 again I guess you will get negative 68 over 3 but because of x and y actually they are the length so it's impossible to get a negative so whenever I get a negative I will actually reject both of this answer not one of it I means I will reject both of it because it doesn't make sense because my x and y should be positive so actually I will take this value and also this one so yes this is how we do the sim uh, the simultaneous equation uh, question in MF so yeah I guess the, the the concept is actually quite similar to modern math I mean the normal mathematics but for MF what they're trying to do is they're trying to make your well, equation more complicated you will see the y square or x square actually will go until quite big number and then factorization actually will go until quite tough right I mean in the next video maybe I will actually go to another similar question this one actually is something like length of diagonal or some t somehow actually they can give you a cylinder and then they give you a uh, uh, the area of volume or whatsoever to actually help you to form two equation and then yeah I, I hope in the next video I can actually go through some of this question and give you more idea on how to solve the simultaneous equation questions no matter in modern math or MF alright I hope this video you do enjoy it thanks for watching